Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session for MRCS exam. This is the question here. Which of these vessels provide the greatest contribution to the arterial supply of the breast? So, we have to find out the greatest contribution to the artery supply of the breast. First of all, we have to find out the artery supply of the breast. Then we have to find out the key vessels which supplies the most of the blood to the breast. They have the options. Options are external mammary artery, thoracoacromian artery, internal mammary artery, lateral thoracic artery, and subclavian artery. So we have to find out one of the artery which provides the maximum blood supply to the breast. So here we can see this is a breast and the rest, this breast is supplied by different type of the artery here. First of all, we can see here this is the sternum and this artery which is the internal mammary artery or internal thoracic artery arising from the subclavian artery. Uh, actually, it is the first part of the subclavian artery. So after arising from the first part of the subclavian artery, the internal thoracic artery or internal mammary artery it passes downward below the coastal cartilages and finally it terminates into the two branches so one is the superior epigastric and musculophrenic artery and through its pathway it gives some of the perforating branch to the breast here we can see these are the branches of the internal thoracic artery then we can see another artery which is the acromiothoracic artery a branch arising from the acromio thoracic artery and it supplies the breast then we can see some other branches such as the intercostal perforating branch so they also supplies the breast so here we can see another clear picture and this picture showing this is the internal thoracic artery or internal mammary artery giving branches to the breast and it arises from the subclavian artery then here we can see this is the superior thoracic artery and here this is the lateral thoracic artery superior thoracic artery and lateral thoracic artery these two artery are arise from the axillary artery from the first part and second part of the axillary artery the superior thoracic artery it arises from the first part of the axillary artery and it supplies this part of the breast then we can see this is the lateral thoracic artery this lateral thoracic artery it supplies this part of the breast and it arising from the second part of the axillary artery then we can see here these are the branches which are arising from the posterior intercostal artery so in a short the breast it gets blood supply from internal thoracic artery from superior thoracic artery from lateral thoracic artery and from the intercostal artery so here uh, in short the memory gland is extremely vascular that means a lot of blood vessel supply this breast and one of them is the internal thoracic artery arising from the subclavian artery then lateral thoracic and superior thoracic artery then they arising from the acromiothoracic artery and then posterior intercostal artery so again here we can see first of all the internal thoracic artery from the subclavian artery then lateral thoracic and superior thoracic arising from the acromiothoracic artery then posterior intercostal artery so they are the blood supply of the internal thoracic artery and here this line is very very important that about 60 percent of the blood supply of the breast is supplied by the internal memory artery or internal thoracic artery so internal memory artery or internal thoracic artery here we can see it is a large artery and it supplies here we can see a larger portion of the breast in this picture also here we can see it provides four perforating branches and it supplies the maximum portion of the breast and it is about the 60 percent of the total breast volume so it is now ready that the internal memory artery that means the internal thoracic artery it contributes the greatest part of the arterial supply of the breast so our answer is now the internal thoracic artery other branches such as the external memory artery there is not uh, no artery uh, named like external memory artery thoracoacromian artery thoracoacromian artery usually uh, don't uh, supply directly it gives two important uh, one important branches with to the breast the lateral thoracic artery it supplies a minimal part and subclavian artery it also not direct supply of the breast so the internal memory artery or internal thoracic artery it contributes the largest part 
will supply the best. Thank you all.